I would say a transformative leadership. It has to be dynamic. It has to be very connected and starts with having this systemic view. So I'm Micaela Rizzo Patron from Perú Sostenible, eh, living in Lima, Perú. My impact story begins with my love and, and passion for my country, for Peru, eh, a developing country with different challenges and opportunities. We have great biodiversity and cultural richness on one side, but then it's a country with multiple inequalities. And this kind of led me to being aware that a path towards sustainable development was the best thing for the country to go through. I would say my contribution directly starts with seeing business as a change agent, as a driver and a motor for sustainable development. In Peru, we're living a terrible political crisis, economic stagnation, development stagnation, and we went backwards in some challenges. So I would say it's critical because when we were able to articulate action through the SDGs, this provided a vision to move forward within a critical context of uncertainty, and we saw results. We generated these spaces for business and government to interact in a positive way where this was not happening in a political context. I would say a transformative leadership it has to be dynamic. It has to be very connected and starts with having this systemic view. So I would say it's a mixture of empathy and also strength and resilience and being open to different perspectives and a source of inspiration. It's very important to trust people. So as honesty, it's, it's a big one and being sincere and genuine, being respectful. Everyone has something to contribute. So listening with an open heart and open mind to always give your best. I'm very intense about striving and standing for what you believe, making sure you give your best effort. I'm mother of three, a nine, a six, and a three-year-old. And I would say that the balance between my professional life and my family life with my husband as well is quite a challenge. I would say that this balance between my professional development and life also is based on this connection to nature because it's a source of energy, of well-being, and as humanity, it's where we live. So. That connection is critical to guide the purpose. Another example of being out of my comfort zone was through the pandemia. Our team, well, which has grown, but we were about 15 people during the pandemia. We had a structured plan eh, and everything changed. It was a challenge for me to connect, a challenge to be that support eh, without having the tools. It still is a challenge to lead people and they all need different types of leadership. So for Perú Sustenible, the, one of the main things was setting this structure with the SDGs. And we had specific expert allies for each SDG. So focusing on the problem, understanding the roots of the problem was critical. And allies here include different ministries, the UN agencies, different expert consultants. Then our team in Perú Sustenible, people who are passionate and share the same vision that was a, a, my most valuable ally because we can keep going. And also uh, within the Peru Sostenible broader network, we have a, a group of 20 board of directors. They are business leaders in different sectors who are crucial to help us lever and activate different initiatives. So I would say this multi-actor uh, network, it's essential. I would start with always being true to your purpose. It will make you resilient. And if, if you are in a leadership position, your purpose is why people need you to lead. So that makes it clear for others which way you are going. Make sure you build a team of people who balance you out, to contribute to what you don't have. Another super important piece of advice is to listen twice as much as you talk. Hire people who are better than you and, and ask questions if you don't understand. 
in this process of consolidation, of setting the vision, of having this systemic approach and having the right tools to activate different change agents. I would say CISL was essential in my story. I'm an eternal learner, so I, I hope to keep that learning going and keep generating more impact.